Evening everybody, how you guys doing? I uh, wanted to get in another shave tonight. It's been a little bit. Uh, I took a little break after doing the five days in a row for Razor Rock and that went really well. So I want to get back to do going through my samples of Taylor of Old Bond Street. And tonight's sample is going to lead us to Taylor's Lavender Scent. There you go, you can see it. And uh, one of the really cool things about this lavender soap that as you can see, it is purple um super cool kind of different than any soaps you uh, any other soaps that i've had and um the scent on it is definitely just straight up lavender um i kind of compared it to um the lavender essential oil i assure you it's lavender even though it won't focus there we go and um obviously the the pure oil is much stronger in scent but the same type of flowery, um, flowery lavender I get in the pure oil, I definitely get in the cream. I don't know if the scent in the cream is from pure lavender oil or from a fragrance oil. I really just don't know. So um, I've already washed out my face with the uh, against the grain bar. And so I'm just going to put a little more water on there. And once again, apply it against the grain. Uh, one thing I'm noticing that as this bar is getting smaller is that it's getting a little bit harder to hold on to. But you know what? Still a wonderful, wonderful product. And for my brush today, as I have used for almost all of my videos, the Simpsons Chubby 2 and Best Badger, an amazing brush. Almost dropped it right there. And so with the cream, um, I'm finding that with these little samples that I got from Maggards, I'm getting about four or five shaves from each one, and that's really cool. Um, so a little bit of cream, just kind of rub it into the bristles. Um, I don't know if it's because the creams have sat in these tubes, in these little tubs for over a year or more, but I am finding that they, they feel a little bit dry and, and hard to rub into the bristles, and I get you know chunks that are falling out and stuff. But... Um, I don't know if that's just kind of what I'm experiencing. I'm guessing it's because they've been sitting around so long. See, I can't even keep it in my brush. So anyways, I'll get lathered up and get going with the shave. All right, uh, so lathered up really nice. That scent, that really fresh, uh, calming lavender scent just came out really, really well while I was lathering and it was uh, just super easy to lather. Um, for today's shave, I'm just wanting a calming, comfortable shave. Going with my, for my razor, my vintage Gillette flare tip and it's got a feather blade in it and this is the second shave. So it'll be the final shave for this blade. And uh, I expect it just to perform beautifully. So um, I'll line up my sideburns like I always do. Just take care of both sides that way. Um, when I get, you know, just focus on the shave, I don't forget. And that's it. Then I'll shake out my razor and just get started like normal. So first pass with the grain, which is kind of sideways for me. All right, first pass done and uh, really nice. I love that flare tip razor, the vintage flare tip. They're so nice. And I just feel like they're the perfect blend between like uh, a smooth shaver and being efficient 
but also, you know, not irritating my skin and not being, you know, aggressive. And there's so many razors I've tried that are either wonderfully efficient, but give me, you know, some irritation, or they're just so mild that they just don't really work for me. And um, I'd have to say that the flare tip is just one of my absolute favorites because it just finds that perfect balance between um, comfortable and close. I just wish that Gillette would get smart and start making them again. But I guess if people are buying um, a pack of three blades for like 20 bucks, then Gillette's the smart one. All right, um, get ready for my second pass. It's gonna be going across the grain. <coughs> and here we go. Okay, second pass uh, finished. Still going good. The shave is just about to where I want it, but I do want to clean up just a few tiny little spots um, on my neck. I never go, you know, the lower part of my neck. That's real sensitive, but uh, there are some parts in the upper part of my neck that I do like to clean up. Okay, here we go, just a few cleanups. Okay, um, third kind of third pass cleanup pass. Went really good. I'm super comfortable where the shave is. I don't really want to push it any further. So I'll get cleaned up and then finish off. All right, uh, got us cleaned up and the results, definitely just a, such a nice, comfortable shave. Um, the lavender soap, it is good. And just like with the other tailors, I've kind of experienced that the, the way they lack is in that post shave and that slickness. Sorry, I got a dog barking in the background. But, um, you know, after I'm done, it's just kind of kind of sticky, you know, and just, just not what I would really want. But anyway, still excellent stuff. I'm gonna begin my post shave with this Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. I think it matches really well with the Lavender Taylor Soap. Just a little squirt on the hands and rub it on there. You get a little more uh, of that aloe scent with the lavender. You know, it's definitely not true lavender like the like the cream, but it still does feel good. No burn or anything. It's alcohol free. Um, well, I like that stuff. And then for my post shave balm, I don't have anything that's lavender, but what I do have is uh, in this little jar right, uh, bottle right here, I have some corn huskers lotion, which uh, you can buy you know online or I buy it at Walmart like two fifty a bottle, and it's, and it's really great stuff. Um, however, it doesn't have much of a scent. So what I'm going to do is take my lavender essential oil. Um, and I'm going to add a drop or two, um, probably just a drop. I don't want to add too much. And it's going to give it that nice lavender uh, scent to really finish off my shave. So just a dab of that. Um, add just a drop of the oil. There we go. Just one drop. And the corn huskers is very soothing and just awesome. I really like it as a post shave. 
and uh, the lavender scent from that essential oil is really really strong so yeah just a drop is plenty I almost get a little bit of a tingle probably from from that essential oil but it's not like a, a burn or anything and uh, so this shave absolutely what I was looking for tonight had a really long day got a long day tomorrow um, just wanted a nice calming close shave that's going to uh, let me sleep good so just in review the cream was the lavender Taylor of Old Bond Street excellent scent um, just shaved really well the essential oil you know this is a doTERRA essential oil that my wife has uh, you can buy far cheaper ones on Amazon or anywhere else they work great corn huskers lotion and the Thayer's lavender witch hazel um, an overall great shave for uh, the end of the day so don't know if any of you guys are into baseball but today was also a big day pitchers and catchers reporting so I grew up in Orange County and uh, my uncle worked for the Dodgers so I kind of you know go Dodgers go Angels um, but also now I live in Arizona, so I got to kind of root for the Diamondbacks. So those are my kind of three teams. Uh, go ahead and comment below. Let me know who your favorite teams are. And uh, I wish them the best of luck this upcoming year. So thank you guys again, and we'll see you next time with another shave. Goodbye.